Hi, it's the analytics dude. I'm here to talk to you today about waterfall charts. Waterfall charts are impactful charts that executives love. Unfortunately, they're not used a whole lot outside of management consulting. If you want to stand out from your peers the next time you're presenting to senior executives, use one of these waterfall charts to get your point across. Here's a module from my Udemy class, How to Present Like a Management Consultant, where I discuss their use. If you like this video, please hit like. If you want to see more of this content, subscribe. Without further ado, present like a management consultant, waterfall charts. Present like a management consultant, module 3.12, utilizing waterfall charts. Waterfall charts, also called walk-ups, or finance people like to call them bridges, are an executive favorite. Unfortunately, they also seem to be rare outside of management consulting. This is a problem. Why? Because executives love them. They're popular with executives because they show both the total opportunity and the impact of individual portions. Here's an example of a waterfall chart from McKinsey. This is a powerful graph because it highlights how each of these sectors can impact the path towards an ambitious demand reduction goal. We easily see here how the impact of a change to CFL policy is over twice the opportunity in a public administration and almost as large as the opportunity in the entire industrial sector. Executives are tasked with looking at the big picture, but analysts look at their specific aspect of the business. Utilizing a waterfall chart to show the impact to the whole relative to other ideas is a great way to make things real for an executive. It helps them identify where the levers can be pushed and what the total opportunity is, sector by sector. Now that's a great reason to use a waterfall chart, but there's actually a couple of other ones. There are some situations where really the only thing to handle it is a waterfall. The first one's what I'm calling multiple steps or stages toward a goal. That is, for instance, you have a project where there's multiple phases, and each phase produces some impact that goes toward the total. When you're dealing with that, discussing with your executive team, the waterfall chart should absolutely be your default option. The second is when multiple categories are able to impact the total. We just saw this with the McKinsey example, and we saw how well that worked. The last one is what I'm calling multiple opportunities with overlapping impact. Now that is, let's say, you're trying to get a goal and there are four projects toward that goal. But those four projects aren't mutually exclusive. You can do all four, or none, or one, two, or three, and those impacts overlap. When that's the situation, the waterfall should once again be your default option. So to recap, waterfall charts are powerful. And there are some situations you should utilize these, and you utilize them to demonstrate the impacts of specific inputs and or to show the impacts as their portion of the total impact. 